Um, it was just so exciting. I mean, mad sometimes. I thought sometimes it was mad. And I was just like, what is wrong with you today? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the biggest differences I noticed between my time at the Royal Ballet School and Vaganva in terms of the training. I'll keep this one relatively short, this video. So I was at White Lodge for three years and it had been a difficult three years in many ways. Save that for another video. Um, and I'd always loved Russian ballet completely. So when I went to Vaganova, um, you know, I had already visited there a few times and obviously watched a lot of videos. And it wasn't until my experience there that I really understood what the you know, greatest differences are and what makes them so great. And to sum up, in one sentence, I would say it's their attention to detail. Everything is more. So obviously, you know, I went from the Royal Bicycle to Vaganova and the first thing they said to me was, um, your muscles are too soft, you're weak. You won't be able to handle the work in grade seven. So we're going to hold you back a year and you're going to do grade six which the, is the equivalent of doing year 11, again, because I'd done year 11 at the Royal Ballet School. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, initially, I was a bit perplexed and thought, oh no, I'm being held back. Oh no, I'm being slowed down. But in hindsight, I'm very grateful for them doing that. They made me incredibly strong. Everything was more, like I say, so we were holding our legs more. Our legs needed to be higher. Whereas in the Royal Ballet School, I was often told to put my legs down. I was told to turn out more. Um, so that was a shock to the system. I had to really find my turnout muscles quickly. Everything was less, you know, um, reserved, let's say, less safe. So I found, I found that the Royal Ballet School was, it felt a little safe, like, you know, whereas I went there and it was just so exciting. It was, you gotta turn out more. Bigger back bends, higher legs, higher jump, faster turns. And their attention to detail. I don't think I'd ever gone in, done a class where, you know, we had to do sometimes one step for like half an hour, because it wasn't right. Or the teacher would scream and we'd do like an exercise over and over and over again. And it was just so exciting. I mean, mad sometimes. I thought sometimes it was mad. And I was just like, what is wrong with you today? <laughs> they made us into fabulous artists. They taught me how to use my arms properly. My character teacher criticized me of being stiff. And, you know, it wasn't until I worked with her one on one for this role I was doing in The Nutcracker. I was doing the Arabian. And we had to do so much kind of, yeah you know, using the upper back and the, the shoulders and things. And it was just, I really learned how to be soft and express. They teach you how to express. Obviously, what then makes you stand out as an artist is how you take that and how you, exp how you sort of, you know, express yourself because there's a difference. You know, you can be taught something, but then you have to feel it. And so, you know, that's what makes someone a good dancer to then, you know, a star. And um, when I started to really understand, you know, the work and how to use my arms correctly, that was when I, um, yeah, really thought, wow, this is really special. You know, Vaganova, you know, is very proud of their system and why change it, you know? From the very first class, they're all, you know, perfect. They do slow, slow work. And then it just builds and builds and builds to these amazing dancers where n nearly every single one of them could be a star. And, you know, there's a reason for that. Their training is refined, detailed and fantastic. So going there was obviously terrifying, but it was the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> 